welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Maria Valletta, and I am with Chef David Banks of Kitchelines and Trolley Square. And I heard we're cooking breakfast today. We are doing brunch. We do a we do a Sunday brunch at, at Kids, and it's just uh, off the hook every Sunday. Just Kids packed. at Kitchelines. That sounds exactly <laughs> the right. We have uh, we have actually uh, customer uh, kids eat free on Monday night as well. But oh, our really? Brunch, yeah, yeah. We. Uh, we're have to right, tell in, my right in the community of Trolley kids. Square, and we're we're an, a favorite. So brunch is what we're doing. Some of the things that we do at brunch are savory items. Some are uh, like entree type things. Other are egg dishes. We're going to okay. do two egg dishes. We're going to do one of the most uh, baffling things in the world. Everybody gets baffled by hollandaise sauce. I'm going to turn a hollandaise sauce then, what is the mother, into the sister Chiron, and that's going to go with the eggs Chesapeake, and. Egg yolks. So we're doing hollandaise from scratch. We're going to do hollandaise from scratch. Egg yolks and a little bit of water just to froth it. It's a serious whisk you have there. That is <laughs> like what it is. That's what it is. And you can do it over an open flame if you're in control, or you can put it in a uh, uh, water bath and it's a little more controlled. So at home, if you've not done it many times, just do it in a water bath. Each yolk absorbs six ounces of clarified butter. And basically, not scrambling the eggs, but cooking the eggs nice, just gently. When I spin it, you'll see why I use it out there. So a lower heat? Well, we're a pretty good flame. I'm, I'm not my first time, so we're, we're running it a little bit hard here. But you don't have to whip it to death, just nice and smooth. And we're not scrambling the eggs, All right? So we're just cooking those eggs. Those eggs are actually the protein, which will then absorb the fat, which is the butter. So it's an emulsion, like a mayonnaise is an emulsion. Yep. This Naoli. is an emulsion. Yep. And what we'll do is we take a wet towel so it doesn't move on us. So we're just going basic hollandaise sauce right now. Clarified butter. And like I told you, we're going to do six ounces per yolk. You see how it's absorbing the butter? Can the camera very, see that? Very nice. Once I'm going to let it get a little bit tight and look like it's going to get glistening and not want to absorb the butter. And then I'll show the trick of smoothing it down with that little bowl of cold water right there. So that's the second six ounce ladle. And you can see how it's getting shiny. And you can rush it if you're in control. See how it's getting tight? Mm -hmm. Give me a little bit of that water. Just a little bit, bring it on over, drop it in, and that'll, go ahead, beautiful. A little bit more, a little bit more. All right. A little bit more, you're good. One more time like that. Perfect, now that All smooths right. it out. Oh yeah. And that allows us, yeah, see, and that smooths it out, and that's gonna allow us to, and when you drop your butter in, drop right into the middle of the whip. Can we I'm talk about clarified butter for a second? How we go about making that at home? Your whole butter has milk solids and whey in it. So you warm your butter or heat your butter. Start and then, with this, right, heat it and, up. Right, and then you'll get a foam at the top, which is your whey. And then you're, uh, at the bottom, there'll be a milky substance, which is milk solids. So you remove the foam off the top, mm -hmm. and then clear off the clarified butter, and then at the bottom, leave the milk. Okay. That's clarified butter, taking all the milk solids out of the butter. So there's definitely a big difference between what you poured in there. And that, you're, and and that emulsified, and that made a super nice, silky hollandaise sauce, which we're going to gently turn into... Now, hollandaise, I just put a little touch of Liam Perrins, right? A little bit of lemon. Yeah, lemon's kind of key in, in Yeah, lemons, I like a lemony hollandaise. And then a little touch of cayenne pepper, just a little bit. We're not making a Mexican sauce. <laughs> no, some people just want to kill it with cayenne. And then there's your basic hollandaise. I don't put salt in it because butter generally, especially if you're clarifying from whole butter, is usually salted. Even unsalted butter has a saltiness to it. Now that's the mother. The sister, Sharon, is tomato paste. You ready to whip? All right. You do the whipping. Tomato paste and a tarragon reduction. Not ketchup, not uh, tomato salt juice. Tomato, tomato paste. paste. Tomato yeah. paste. Tarragon reduction has shallots and black pepper, white wine, and red wine vinegar. And that makes... Look at that color. And that makes the Chiron. The Chiron is going to be part of the Eggs Chesapeake. We're going to have poached eggs. So how do you make your poached eggs, Chef? Well, we take poached eggs and water and lemon. The acid in the water 
uh, coagulates the albumin. The so you white use lemon instead of vinegar? I do. I don't like vinegar in it. Doesn't, it's not the taste that I want. I think that's a great tip because when I have poached eggs, I often can really taste the vinegar. And it's off-putting to me. It doesn't seem to, it, to really go well with what you're having. Yeah, so lemon is a great, great idea. I'm going to use that at home. So and, and you can just drop your lemon right in to the water. Hollandaise is made. We're cooking a crab cake. Nice and gentle on that. So your crab cakes, you cook in oil or butter? Butter. Okay, so we're good on that. And that's just going to cook nice and gentle, cook through poached eggs. And then we'll do this uh, eggs Chesapeake. It's a simple dish. That's a nice cast iron lodge pan. And we're going to start on an omelet. When you crack an egg, uh, crack it on a flat surface, not on there. I started uh, as a breakfast cook in my career. The Austrian uh, uh, chef that I had and the East German woman that taught me to cook breakfast is always crack it on a flat surface. And when you're 16, you just don't argue, you just do it. And you still love to cook breakfast? Oh, I love breakfast. And I love doing the eggs with a fork. I love, and even a little teeny splash of water in the egg for an omelet. Oh, I do that. It, fluffs it. Now, what I think I might do Enough. is I think I might, yep, I think it's perfect. I think I might hold off making that omelet till the end. Bacon and eggs. Pork belly with a bourbon glaze, and we're gonna make deviled eggs. So you cut those eggs in half, put the, put the yolks there. I'm gonna prep up a little bit for the uh, tomato in the omelet. We're making a Vermont cheddar and a really nice asparagus. And you see the filet of tomato, just taking the seeds out of the tomato. The Split flavor. it a little bit, press it on down, and then come on out with it. That way we have just the pretty red, okay? You want me to take the yolks out of these? Yeah, put the yolks mm -hmm. in there. And you see this pork belly here? This is the bourbon glaze. Is wow, that, that's bubbling over. Well, not coming, over, but we're basting. coming up very nicely. Oh, you're kidding me. This is going to be so good. So all these recipes are served um, at kids? Yeah, we have these on the brunch menu. Uh, the eggs chest peak is a special that we run. The bacon and eggs and the omelets of, and the uh, shrimp and grits that we're going to do. We've made our filling. So we've taken our yolk and we've mixed it with mayonnaise and a little bit of mustard and a little bit of dill. They're so fancy. Oh, yeah. I'll put it in the bag, but I don't put the... Um, star tip? The little star tip on, so you don't get the same effect. Those are oh. good-looking eggs. So what time um, do you start brunch at Kid Chilean's, and what time do you serve till? Uh, we serve till 3. We start at 10 to 3. That's uh, good. Every Sunday, yeah. And I'm we a have late a, bruncher. And on our brunch menu are lunch items as well. Uh, so it's not, uh, you don't have to have eggs. So there's like uh, the shrimp and grits and the bacon and eggs and the crab cake. Uh, that's all, that's all available. And then in the evening, what kind of food do you serve? We're kind of a Santa Fe, Colorado to uh, Texas, uh, Southwestern cuisine. Okay. Uh, with some real uh, focus on fresh and local. We've got some uh, very healthy, healthful salads and we have a falafel and we have uh, uh, beets and chev and we have a lot of those things that are very attractive to uh, a different clientele, a female, vegetarian. Uh, we have uh, two sizes of hamburgers, a nice six ounce and a, and a ten ounce. Uh, burgers are something that we're known for as well. We have a burger day on Tuesday. Burger and day we'll on do, Tuesday. Uh, we'll do so many burgers. That. It's it sounds like a real neighborhood spot though. It is. It's, it's, it's very much that. So we've got some grilled bread. So bacon and eggs. Wow. We've got the pork belly. Look at that sticky sauce. I know. It's one hot pan. <laughs> It's all right. That smells good, doesn't it? It's it on the does bourbon. smell good. <laughs> Yum. So we'll just take the bacon. So you're going to serve the little um, iron, cast iron dish on top of this dish here? Is that what you're doing? Correct. And then the bacon goes down. Then the eggs go down. And then just a little bit of a... We'll take a piece of parsley here. That is a really fabulous twist on a bacon, bacon and, and eggs. eggs. Yeah. Bacon and eggs. So then we have... And then that bourbon glaze goes right back over. Pour it on. Pour it on. I like <laughs> it. I like it. So that's bacon and eggs. So eggs Chesapeake. The lemon's in the water. It's done its job. Again, what that does is the acid coagulates the albumin, which is the white. Makes everything stick together so you have one solid piece. Right. And when you're poaching an egg, don't, get your, don't let your water be super hard boiling because it kind of gets you messed up. So we just dropped our poached eggs in. 
we're going to finish this this or, this is going to be the eggs chesapeake eggs chesapeake is crab cake do you use uh lump crab meat for that this is a jumbo lump and, jumbo a, lump. and a colossal and what we'll do is we'll press it down because that's You're what we're going to yeah we're going to nest our eggs on that <laughs> that's great yeah oh he okay. smells good i can smell the crab when you did that this is all crab meat. There's no That's, filler or anything in well, this. Well, it, it's interesting. The way I make it uh, is uh, the filler is the jumbo lump. So I take my bread uh, and, you know, breadcrumbs and butter and uh, mayonnaise, a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of onion, and then I smush all that in with jumbo lump crab meat. Wow. With jumbo lump. So my, my binder is a jumbo lump paste, and then I fold in colossal into that. The poached eggs are close. Slotted spoon. A little bit longer. Ever poached an egg successfully? You don't make golf balls. You make a nice That's poached so egg. Uh -oh. Don't you break. Here she won't. He's holding, he's holding. Yeah, she won't break. She just shows you. Oh, you're going to put both on here, huh? She's in control. Yeah. Yeah, I'm putting both on. My dish is a little bit, all right. Okay. Mm. No break. We're good. Mm. They smell great, and there's no vinegar essence in the air. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I have a something that I teach in my cooks, and I, I tell them they don't want that that flavor. We just don't really want that flavor. Lemon's perfect. It does the job. Oh, back to our sauce. Back to our sauce. And that's where the Chiron comes in. So that's quite, and if you taste that. Thank you. Taste that. You should have a light tomato, tarragon. So it's a mm -hmm. Hollandaise sister Bernays. Bernays then takes tomato paste, turns her into Chiron. That's classic cooking. That's really nice. Isn't that good? Mm. That's smooth buttery, right? Perfect. And then we just drape Consistency. it. And sometimes egg dishes aren't so pretty, but they are delicious. Yeah, hey, but you have a lot of color going on here, which is yeah. nice. And you know, I will take a little bit of parsley. I will throw some parsley on there just for fun. And that other doily plate okay. goes on it. And, uh, so we have one more dish, right? Mm, two. Oops. We have an omelet that we're gonna do, and we have the shrimp and grits. So we're gonna finish with the 22nd omelet. We're gonna do the shrimp and grits right now. So we've got a Creole sauce that I made, tomato, bell pepper, onions, we've got the grits, right? Oh, I love grits. This is going here. I can see this, you know, southern, southwestern the, idea starting to come together. Yeah, now this is where my roots come in because these are, these are hand milled when I order them from Anson Mills in South Carolina. This is a, this is a uh, Bohicket Market Rosebank, <laughs> Bohicket Market Rosebank Gold Grit. I'm not going to ask you to say that five times fast, although that uh, would be funny. I can. I can. <laughs> and so these grits are good. These are not your instant Quaker grits. You can these, see the corn in these. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Mm. We got hominy in there. You got all that stuff just working. It. Oh, you see? You're <laughs> chasing me down. Don't take the grits away. Don't take the grits away. I know the director of the show even mm. likes grits. He mm. said, don't put any bacon in the grits. I'm like, okay. <laughs> all right. So some shrimp. Creole sauce here is already hot. Two, three, four nice quick shrimp. We've got the grits. We've got the Creole sauce. We're going to Creole right around it. Creole around it. <laughs> We're going to Creole around it. We have toast. We're good, and we have butter because grits will absorb about six times their weight in butter. <laughs> Don't tell me that. <laughs> oh, yeah, they will. Yeah, they will. They do a good job of it, too. And we have some green onion. So if they're absorbing it, that means when I eat it, I'm absorbing it. it. it, it all, yeah, exactly. It ends up all over. I'm ready to watch you remove that tower and everything look perfect. You exactly right. Okay. Oops. 
salt, a little black pepper. We're cleaning up as we go. Yeah. And we're dropping that out. Let me get a little bit of scallion on there. All right. So and a little just, just salt and pepper on your shrimp. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of garlic in that Creole sauce and everything else is good. I'm just going to let them sit in that pan just for a second. We're going to do that 20 second omelet with the tomato and the asparagus. I've never made Creole sauce, but it does remind me a little bit of a ratatouille. But I imagine it has a lot more uh, Yeah, no, no eggplant. Creole spices. Uh, no eggplant or okay. olives. And I put olives in my ratatouille. Not everybody does, but I no, do. No, I, I don't. And you don't put olives in your ratatouille? No, you don't. Yeah, I do because I, I just like love olives. olives. You don't like olives? <laughs> I don't like olives. I like olive oil. I don't like olives. I don't know. Interesting. Clarified butter for an omelet. Do you have to use clarified butter? No, you can use uh, oil if you want. The whole butter doesn't work so well. Okay. Uh, so because it burns. Yeah, it gets get... brown and then you you have a colored omelet, which isn't really right. the goal. So we've got the Creole oh, so cute. shrimp. Come here, shrimp. Yeah, you can stay right there. Okay, I think I twisted you the wrong way. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Sorry to touch Cut it. Cut all your Didn't shrimp in a line. It. All right. So here we go. Oh. Set it down. Finished. Twenty second omelet. All right. Twenty second omelet. Ready? Hot pan. Done. Fluffs. Hot pan. Wow. Fluffs. Look at that. Turns. Off the fire, smooths down. Wow. Gets a little bit cluggy. Pop it <gasps> over. Watching the show. What? <laughs> <laughs> Asparagus. Put some of the cheddar cheese in there. Just blanched. Drop that. Yep, that's All blanched. Right. Drop that cheddar in there. That's good. Drop a little bit of those tomatoes in there. Just have a little sprinkling of that great sea salt on here, huh? Okay. Yep, and then your asparagus, and then the French three-fold omelet. I noticed the nonstick pan is key here. Well, it, it's not totally key, but it's certainly helpful. And having enough and butter a, in the pan, in this have, case, the clarified, of course. Well, it just is that the is way perfect, that, chef. Way to, and, and you weren't a, kidding. That was I think that was less than omelet. twenty seconds. Well, the show's running long, I guess so. <laughs> There we go. Now what we'll do is, uh, is we'll put a little bit of that to tell you what is inside, inside of, it. of it. So we do that. So we make all of our omelets, uh, you know, you, put, you build your own omelet. So then so you know. So if you know, want mushrooms in it, you, know you want ham. A, right, you know that there's a cheddar, asparagus, and tomato omelet under there. Okay. One smart cookie. There Let's you go. taste. All right, Chef Banks, I'm ready to dig into some <laughs> bacon, bacon and eggs, bacon and bags. Bacon and bags. <laughs> the, I love breakfast for dinner myself, so brunch is perfect. Breakfast for lunch is good. Breakfast is just good anytime, I think. You know, my mother reason. used to make pancakes for dinner sometimes. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm taking your portion over here, aren't I? Sorry. That's all right. You're going to have to reach over sometimes me. Sometimes you just reach over. Now, that toast underneath the egg not only keeps the egg in place, but it mm. sucks up the juice of that bourbon glaze. All right. The Did you hear that? The sweetness of that mm -hmm. sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, man. That's mm. bacon. I don't want bacon any other way after that. That's fantastic. Mm. Mm. Eggs, Chesapeake. My bacon and eggs will never be the same after that bite. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oop. Oh, there you go. Eat there he goes. goes. So you've got crab meat and egg and Sharon. Sharon. It just sounds sexy. It sounds sexy. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Delicious. That crab is fantastic. Mmm. I so, love the sauce. Let's work the egg dish and work that omelet. Okay. Nice and fluffy. Cut me a little piece. There you go. Sorry. That's all right. Busted it up. Uh, I like asparagus. I can't believe you did this in 20 seconds. You see it? Mm, I saw it. Almost didn't. I closed my eyes. Forget it. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. Mm. So fluffy. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Very fluffy, yeah. And a three-fold, not, it's not a half moon. All right. Three-fold omelet. Now. Back to your hometown here. That's right, young down to let's, the roots. Let's check these. MR grits. Grits out. Mmm. Mmm. Are you kidding? Rich and homey. Tomato Ooh. and grits. That Creole spice mm-hmm. kicks in. Yeah. And you know, if we were at, um, in the dining room, um, we'd be ma- making our own Bloody Marys, wouldn't we? Yeah, we have a Bloody, Bloody Mary, Mary bar. bar. It is off the hook the whole, gee, I can't remember how many hot sauces we mm. offer as a, as a uh, choice. Well, mm. Very chef, good. I'm coming for brunch. All right, good, I like it. I'll be here this weekend. Can't wait Thank to see you. you. Kid Chalene's Brunch with Chef Dave Banks. Cook something from the show? Went to a restaurant that you loved? Found a place serving innovative cocktails or impressive wine? Become a fan of The Chef's Kitchen on Facebook and share your thoughts. I want to welcome you to Harry Savoy Grill, where freshness and quality are always in season. We use only the highest quality ingredients from artisan purveyors. Enjoy innovative seafood like lime cod Alaskan salmon or our specialty slow roasted prime rib and our perfectly aged steaks. Our impressive raw bar options will satisfy any appetite. Try one of our craft beer specialty drinks or choose from our extensive wine list. Our warm, friendly service creates the hospitality you've come to expect. Harry's Savoy Grill, quality so fresh you can taste it.